Hi, it's Lorraine here with session three, leader of the patch, and this is how to create cute origami pumpkins. So this is gonna be separate from the class, the process videos for the classes, because we actually create these first. So you can see here, I've taken um, the two uh, A4 papers, which are in that sort of peachy pink, and then that orangey, kind of orangey yellow, I guess you'd call it. Um, I have literally, to make a square, which you need for these origami pumpkins, I have actually just folded the top corner, um, then straight with the, the side of the A4 to make a triangle, and of course that's then a square. So you can see there again, I'm doing it with that piece, just folding that over the corner to the edge. Just how we can make it a square. I'm cutting along with my trimmer, not scissors, just so I can make sure that's nice and straight. Now these are really easy to do once you've made one. So if you want to practice first with a plain piece of A4, that um, is always a good plan. So there, I've got the two triangles. So I'm gonna make one first and then repeat to show the other. So I've got two pieces there left over. You can absolutely save these because you're gonna be using that to make cute mini pumpkins. But I'm just showing you this with the large because once you've done one, you can do these in any size. So there, we're folding the triangle to create another triangle. This is easier to um, show rather than write an instruction or actually give a verbal instruction. So you can see how that side triangle is lifted up to come over and flat back down. So you've got the crease, the original triangle in the middle. And then you're gonna do the same the other side. So you can see it's a little bit fiddly, that fold at first. There, and use the bone folder or similar to make nice clean sharp edges. The benefit of the YouTube videos, you can play it back and forth um, to see that you've got that got that right. So then you're going to fold almost like a kite shape. So you're using, so it's underneath, so this is going to be folded underneath that um, flap. So there you go, you've got the crease down the middle. So either side you're folding those edges back to create a kite shape on the front pieces like that and that's the underneath of what is going to be the front facing of your, I was going to say pineapple, pumpkin. So then the top edges are coming down as well. You can see there how that's folded down to that crease in the middle and then back. And that's what makes that diamond kite shape on the front. And then the same, the other side. So it's just repeating that, make it nice and flat with a bone fold or similar. There. It's quite a light colour to, to show up. Hopefully by me lifting that up and showing you, you can see what you should now have in front of you. So to create um, the shape of a pumpkin, you're folding down the top and the bottom edges of where that diamond is. Obviously there's quite a lot of paper layers there. So you do need to um, really press hard down on there so it stays flat. So that's the top and bottom of your pumpkin. Now you're going to create the sides. Now I found this, the best way to do that was to hold it facing me and looking at it to see how far to fold back until I was happy with the size and shape. So of course you can make more um, dumpy, rounder looking um, pumpkins or more elongated if you don't fold them back quite so much. But mine's quite equal as you can see. So on the back of that you will need to just stick them down so that those flaps stay nice and flat. So I'm just coming here with um, masking tape, find that the best best thing to use to, to keep those nice and stuck down. There we go, I'm not gonna see any of that, so it doesn't matter. So there's that peachy orange one. So we're gonna repeat with the pink. So folding it into a triangle again. Make those edges nice and creased. Okay. So you see me just flipping it around a bit, there we go. So there we go, holding it, turning it over that side. 
So I'm holding it slightly different here than I did the first one, just so you can see a different angle. So depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, hopefully this helps. And the way it just folds over, you bring it over and you're creating new folds on the left and the right and then that center fold down the middle. So that you bring it over and it's almost like opening it up and then flatten it back down. There we go, just so you can see what it looks like. So creating that kite shape again on that front piece. So you've got the, the original fold of the triangle through the middle. You're folding two edges back to create that diamond kite shape. Both on the left side and the right side of that top section. There we go. So you've got the kite shape. And then you're going to do the same with the top pieces, folding them back to so all the folds are underneath. So it's really difficult to explain verbally or in written instructions, so it's a lot better to watch and practice. It really is worth just, like I say, practicing with a spare piece of um, A4 like printer paper before um, creating out of the coloured pieces. Because once you've made one, especially two, it's really easy. I've just trimmed a little piece off there, my scissors, that's called cheating, but that's fine too. If those edges don't sit quite right, rather than unfolding it, fold it back and creating a crease, I just snip that little edge off. Where they didn't quite quite meet each other so again you just folded the top two down and then the sides holding that to see if you want a perfectly well, i say round it's not round but origami never is round it's straight sides isn't it but to create that uh, more even shaped pumpkin or if you want it elongated so again this one is the same as as the previous there and sticking them down at the back and there are two gorgeous pumpkins. Have fun!